Hi, in this demo video of Phone Titan and Salesforce, I will show you how to use the section control to create multiple objects in Salesforce. Uh, in this example, we'll create a single account. For that account, we'll create contacts, and for those contacts, we'll create cases. Okay, so let's get started. Let's capture the account name. This is account name. Then we'll bring in a section control because we want to capture multiple contacts. We need to put those fields within a section and you'll see why. I'll go to advanced, full name. Let's bring in the full name for the contact and let's capture the email address of that contact. That's more or less all we need for the contact, but we want to capture cases as well. So I'll bring in another section and put it inside the other section. And here we will put another text box for the subject of the case. And then click on the outer section and here we can see we've got a repeated property which allows us to set the section to be repeated. I can say, say how many items we can create maximum, let's say um, three for example, and maybe for the cases, again I want it to be repeated and I want to be able to put two cases only at a time, oh, no, let's say four. Okay. So with that all done, let's publish this and see it in action. So if I click view, I can see that I can add two cases, I can add three cases, and I can add four. And I can add another contact, and so on and so forth. Great. Now let's connect it all to Salesforce. So to do that, we go to the Salesforce integration, click edit under push to Salesforce because we are creating data and add object to add the account object. And here we'll select account. We are creating it and all we have to do is just map the fields to tell Salesforce how to create it. So we'll just map our account name. Click apply and apply again. Now we want to create a contact object that is associated with this account. So I will add a child, click on the plus and here we select contact because we want to create a contact object. Obviously, you can select any object and we'll map it. You can see automatically form Titan has mapped my account ID. So all I have to do is the last name, the first name and email. There it is. So I've mapped the contact. Perfect. Now we want to map the cases. It's exactly the same thing, just like a contact, but it's a child of the contact. So I'll add a child for the contact and here we'll select case. Perfect. Again, create. You'll see that Form Titan has already mapped the contact. I'll just map the account as well. So take the account ID from the first step. And then all I have to do is map the subject. There it is. I'll map it and we mapped it all. Click apply and now we are ready to roll. So if I publish that, refresh this page and let's create the account. So demo account, for example, I call it first one, last one f1 at l1.com and sub subject one subject two and then let's put another name so first two last two f2 at l2.com that's free maybe one case for this one add another contact first three last three f3 at l3.com and this is i think four Let's do five and let's do six and seven. And you can see, obviously I can't create anymore. So I'll we click submit. Obviously I can create other cases for the other users, other contacts, but not for the last one because I've created all of them. Okay, so if I click submit, it will go to my Salesforce and create all the, those account, create the account, contacts and cases. Let's see it. So here is my account. Here are my four and uh, my free contacts, sorry. And we can see that we have cases. Um, should show two more. You can see basically that everything is there. So the first one had two cases, um, the second one, one, and four for the last contact. That's how easy it is to create um, multiple objects in Salesforce using the section control. Thank you.